Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and I'd like to show you how to create a simple race game animation using the PBS Kids app Scratch Junior. Once you open the app, you're going to tap on the pink Start button, and you're going to start a new project. I'll actually show you the project that I made first, and I'm just going to tap on the green flag, and you're going to see my characters race across the screen, and you can see that they actually race at different speeds. And so that's the project that we are gonna create. So I'm gonna tap on the Home button to show you how to do this. We will create a new project by tapping on the blue button that has the plus on it, and I'm going to get rid of the dot character by holding my finger down on her and then tapping X. And then over on the left side, I'm going to add several characters that are going to be in my race. So I think I'm going to have Nature Cat be in my race. Where's Nature Cat? There's Nature Cat. So I tap on Nature Cat in the checkbox. I'm going to tap on Daisy, and I'm also going to bring in squeaks. So these are my three characters. I'm gonna go ahead and move them over to the side of my screen so they'll be able to race. And I definitely want a background, so in the very middle, in the top, I'm gonna to click on that picture of green hills with blue sky and a cloud. And I'm going to bring in the background that I'm going to want for my race. And oh, let's have them race at the South Pole. And now I need to do my scripts. And so I'm gonna start here with squeaks and down at the bottom I have my different blocks. Remember that the yellow blocks are the trigger blocks, the blue are the movement, the purple are the looks blocks, the green are the sound blocks, the orange are the control blocks, and the red are the ending blocks. And we're going to always start with some kind of a trigger block. So I'm gonna pull down my green flag and then I'm gonna to go to my motion blocks and I'm gonna say how many steps that I want um, nature cat to take. Now if I tap up to the left of my backgrounds where it looks like a grid that will show me how many steps across and I can see there's going to be about 20 steps to go all the way across the screen. So I'm going to double tap on the number one to bring up this little keypad and let's put in 15 and now I'll go ahead and type oh that's not nature cat that squeaks and look at that, squeaks can go all the way across with 15 steps. So that is um, how fast squeaks can go, or, or that will make squeaks go across the screen. But now I wanna control the speed, and that is in the orange block, and it's this third one here, and I'm actually gonna need to set the speed before squeaks starts to move. So instead of going regular speed, um, let's make squeaks win. Squeaks is gonna go super fast, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this top one, and then when I double tap on the scripts down there, you can see that it goes all the way, all the way across. Now, I wonder why, I guess I better reset. There we go. Um, okay, so reset to the very beginning. The last thing I need at the end of my block is gonna be an ending block, so that ends it. So that is my script. Now, I could go ahead and tap on Daisy and make that script from scratch, but one of the cool things about PBS Scratch Junior uh, just like the regular Scratch program is, you can click on the beginning of a script, the first block, and then you can drag it over and drop it. So I'll drop it on Daisy and drop on Nature Cat. And look at that, now Daisy has that same script and Nature Cat has that same script. So the only thing I need to do here is change my speeds. So Squeaks was my super fast runner. Uh, let's select Daisy to have the middle speed and then Nature Cat, I'm gonna make Nature Cat it's kind of slow. And so now let's watch this in full screen. I'm going to tap the button between the pink home button and the grid. I'm going to turn off my grid because I don't really need that on anymore. And we're going to see this in full screen and tap the green. Oh, look at squeaks go. Nature cat, oh, you need to speed up a little bit. You're kind of going a little slow in this race. And that is how you can create your project. So once you've done that, try to do some fun extensions. See if you can make one of your characters um, announce how excited they are to have won, or maybe to encourage other characters during the race. See if you can also have a character fall into a hole, or disappear, or something else happen during the race. Have fun making your race game in Scratch Junior by PBS Kids.